we are uncovering new information about what happened the night a family's dog killed their baby. 10 News just confirmed the family called 911 twice before making the choice to drive to the emergency room themselves. Astrid Solorzano has covered the story since it happened. Astrid? It's a very sad story all along now. Both times they weren't able to successfully connect with the dispatcher. Mayoral candidate Ed Harris, he's saying that he's blaming the police department. That's where it starts. It starts at 911. Mayoral candidate Ed Harris makes one thing clear. 911 is the first uh, answer to any kind of emergency you have. So whether it's fire, police, or whatever else, it has to make it through there first. Blasting the San Diego Police Department for what he says was a delayed response to the Mira Mesa family whose dog mauled their newborn to death. I ache for those parents. I ache for anybody who's who's on hold with 911 while there's an emergency and one of their loved ones is in trouble. Thursday night, the family was in bed when the mother coughed, startling the Great Dane Pitbull mix. It attacked the baby. Then two calls. The first, 28 seconds. They hung up. Then the second call, 34 seconds. No one answered either. San Diego police told 10 News during the half hour span when the calls were made, operators handled 73 calls. They should expect 75 calls. And that's why they're supposed to be fully staffed to handle 75 calls, right? So that's the question to go back and ask them. Why are you not fully staffed? As a lifeguard, Sergeant Harris knows the importance of getting help as quickly as possible. Like me holding the door closed to the lifeguard tower and not letting them leave for 45 seconds or 34 seconds. Now Harris has one big question he says can't be left unanswered. So why do we have vacant positions there? Why are we not staffing fully every day? And we reached out to the police department and they're looking into just how many operators were working that day and if they were shorthanded when the family called. Reporting live in Pacific Beach, Astrid Solorzano, 10 News.